Welcome back to another episode. Today we're coming at you from Portland, Maine. We're starting off today's tour at the Portland Head Lighthouse. It is the oldest lighthouse in all of Maine. We just gotta find it, so come with me. From where you park, there's a cliff walk that wraps around towards where I think the lighthouse is located. I found it. Behind me here is the Portland Head Lighthouse. The Lighthouse Tower is only open to the public once a year on Maine Open Lighthouse Day. Lighthouse construction began in 1787. It's a great day here at the Lighthouse, and it's free to come here, but you can't walk up to the top of it, which is kind of a bummer. In 1790, Congress provided the money for the completion of the Lighthouse. We've made it to downtown Portland, now we're gonna take a walk around. Portland was named after the English island of Portland. In turn, the city of Portland, Oregon was named after Portland, Maine. Maine was established as a state in 1820 with Portland as its capital. We're now in Boothby Square. Come with me and I'll show you around. This is a nice area with cobblestone streets and plenty of grass. In 1832, the capital was moved north to Augusta. We're now heading down towards the water. I can start to smell it. Let's see what's going on down there. Portland is a walkable city, offering many opportunities for walking tours, featuring maritime and architectural history. Down on the waterfront, Portland has multiple piers that kind of finger piers that go out over the water and there's different restaurants on each pier and on the sides of the pier there is still a bunch of lobster boats and it smells like lobster boats. Now we're going to head to the next pier to a place called Luke's Lobster to get a lobster roll. I heard they have really good lobster rolls and my niece Emma works there. We'll visit with her. Luke's Lobster is family owned by a third generation lobsterman. We have found Luke's Lobster. Luke's began as a tiny lobster roll shack in New York City. I decided to go with the twin lobster instead of the lobster roll. It looked pretty good to me. My niece Emma here, we stopped in for some lobster, everything was great. It was great to see you. Until next time. Until next time. <laughs> Did you know that Maine is the first state in the United States to see daylight? And that there are over 4,000 islands off the coast of Maine? Also, Maine is the only state in the country whose name is only one syllable and the first lobster was caught over 400 years ago. Maine is the single largest producer of blueberries in the United States. And here's a fun fact for you. Donut holes were invented in Maine. Next we are gonna hop on a ferry like the one behind me and head over to Peak Island. Peak Island was first colonized by the Europeans in the 1600s. By 1880, Peak Island became the Coney Island of Maine, visited by tourists from all over the world. Peak Island has around 1,000 permanent residents and an additional 2,000 summer residents. Electricity comes from cables under the bay. This is Peak Island behind me. It's just about a 15 minute ferry ride from Portland to here, and you can bring your car with you if you'd like. There are both rocky and sandy beaches on Peaks Island, but be aware, not all of them are open to the public. Portland is the closest U.S. transatlantic port to Europe. 
<laughs> on your way to Portland, you can always stop by Kittery's Trading Post. In 1938, Philip Adams acquired Kittery Trading Post. At the time, the store was a modest one-room trading post gas station. As you can see, a lot has changed since then. It's now over 100,000 square feet. Over 85 years later, Kittery Trading Post continues to be owned and operated by the Adams family. If you like to dress in camouflage, this is definitely the spot you want to shop. One thing you'll find across the street from the Trading Post is a weather vane seafood restaurant, which you don't see that often these days. Well, that concludes today's episode and tour of Portland, Maine. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.